Guys have it now uh, showing you some of the, uh, the episodes this afternoon where police went location by location with the bomb squad, squad to, to check out these uh, so-called magnetic uh, signs, lights, uh, promoting this, uh, this show on uh, one of the, the Turner Broadcasting uh, Network, or rather the, I it was the Cartoon, cartoon Network, network. Uh, under Turner Broadcasting. So it, it's been a, a very busy afternoon uh, for police, and um, this afternoon, shortly after 4 o'clock, there was a news conference at uh, the command center set up at uh, Boston Police. Looking now, you see a map of all the different devices found around the city, from the Longfellow Bridge to the New England Medical Center, from Stewart and Columbus Street in the South End, to the first device found at Sullivan Square in Somerville. At times, of course, those devices being found and police responding, it paralyzed the city. But late today, the governor, the mayor, and the police commissioner said there was nothing to worry about and everyone should go about Just their about business. All of us and the individuals who might be placing these bombs, all these packages I should say, should be warned that this is a, is a heavy penalty. It's imprisonment, two to five years for each one of them. So it's not, we're not playing around. I'm gagged that someone like, somehow shimmied his way up there and put this bright light thing up there, and we all just kind of laughed about it. But we're all a little upset because you don't you would just you're defacing the Fenway Park. But at the same time, no one ever thought anything serious of it till today. Obviously, no threat, but police are keeping us at quite a distance right now. Again, another one of these electronic cartoons found right there at Gate C. We're not sure what is going to be happening, if that is going to be coming down within the next hour or so. We're, of course, standing by for any developments, but as you know, no threat here on Lansdowne Street. We're live in Boston. Linda Urgis, 7 About 8.05 a.m., police say a passenger finds a suspicious package under I-93 by the Sullivan Square T-stop. 93 North and the Orange Line shut down for a good two hours. Until the bomb squad detonates a device they say looks like a circuit board but isn't explosive. It ruined people's commutes and created quite a scene. As I was coming down the side street, I heard one of them, um, it must have been an officer or maybe one of the, one of the, one of the bomb squad people say uh, fire in the hole. And then? And I heard a detonation. A few hours later and a few miles away, Police detonate another suspicious package, this one under the Longfellow Bridge. Cars are kept off it, and red line service between Boston and Cambridge comes to a halt. That's very scary. Um, now you have me thinking if I should go on the red line. <laughs> now we know this was just a bad publicity stunt and not a scary, suspicious package. Still, people prefer the city be vigilant than take any chances. He has photographs documenting 17 sites where the devices were planted and later found. At the tops of buildings, under bridges, at Fenway Park, all across the city, this little creature that lights up in the dark and makes an obscene gesture is on his website. It was also found over the entryway to a comic book store in Alston. It looked like the Moonanites, uh, made out of little lights like a light bright. Okay, Moonanites. Little lights like a light bright. Like a light bright. Up? They, they, didn't, they weren't lit up now, but they lit up at night, which is why they had the battery pack to they light up. They had a battery pack on? It had a battery pack, and that's what made everybody nervous, because they, they equate battery packs and wires and such with bombs.